Artificial General Intelligence or AGI once seemed like pure science fiction, sentient machines, limitless learning and world-changing potential. Today, as AI rapidly advances, the line between myth and reality blurs. AGI promises to solve humanity's toughest problems but also raises profound questions and anxieties. We'll demystify AGI, separate hype from reality, and explore what its arrival could mean for our future. To navigate this complex landscape, we need a clear map. This exploration is structured to guide you step by step from the foundational concepts of AGI to the practical implications of its development. We will begin by locking down a precise definition. What are the key criteria that a system must meet to be considered a true AGI? We will look at benchmarks like cross-domain mastery, rapid adaptation, and the ability to abstract and transfer knowledge. This framework will provide us with a solid foundation, allowing us to evaluate the claims and counterclaims that dominate the public discourse on this incredibly important and fascinating topic. From there, we will journey back in time, tracing the seven-decade history of the quest for AGI. This historical perspective is crucial, as it reveals a pattern of punctuated progress, long periods of slow, incremental work punctuated by sudden transformative breakthroughs. From the initial optimism of the 1956 Dartmouth Conference to the rise of symbolic AI, the triumph of Deep Blue, and the recent revolutions in deep learning and transformers, each milestone offers vital clues about the nature of intelligence itself and the immense difficulty of replicating it in a machine. This long view helps to contextualize the current moment of accelerated progress and reminds us that the path forward is unlikely to be a straight line. With a firm grasp of the definition and history, we will then turn our attention to the present day. What can the most advanced AI models of 2025 actually do? We will conduct a balanced capability check, highlighting their incredible strengths in areas like complex tool use and scientific discovery, while also being unflinchingly honest about their persistent weaknesses, such as hallucinations and a lack of long-horizon planning. This scorecard will give us a realistic snapshot of the current state of the art, showing us exactly how wide the gap between today's narrow AI and tomorrow's AGI truly is, and how quickly that gap might be closing. Finally, we will look to the future, examining the different strategies that the world's leading research labs are employing in the race to build AGI. We will unpack the four main research tracks from brutally scaling existing models, to developing sophisticated world models and fusing neural networks with symbolic logic. We will also weigh the significant risks, from the technical challenge of alignment to the profound societal and economic shockwaves that AGI's arrival could trigger. We will conclude by considering three plausible scenarios for the coming years. A rapid sprint, a long marathon or a frustrating stall, and offer a framework for how we can all prepare for what lies ahead, regardless of which future unfolds. Before we can discuss artificial general intelligence, we need a clear destination. Experts agree AGI must pass three tests, cross-domain mastery, rapid adaptation, and transfer of knowledge. AGI should switch between tasks like a human, learn new skills quickly and apply knowledge from one area to another. These are the true hallmarks of general intelligence. Today's AI is brilliant but narrow. Like AlphaGo, which masters Go but can't recognize a cat. True AGI must break free from these digital blinkers integrating knowledge across domains just as humans do. It's not about being a jack of all trades but having flexible intelligence to master any task, from poetry to assembling furniture, a true hallmark of general intelligence. For AGI, rapid adaptation and transfer learning are essential. It's not just about acquiring skills, but learning efficiently and applying knowledge across domains. An AGI must learn quickly from sparse data and generalize like a human. The true test is abstraction, transferring lessons from one area to another, fueling creativity and genuine intelligence. Our story begins in 1956 at Dartmouth College, where a handful of visionaries John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester and Claude Shannon gathered to launch the field of artificial intelligence. Their bold proposal, every aspect of intelligence could in principle be described so precisely that a machine could simulate it, 
This optimism fueled early breakthroughs like the logic theorist, which proved mathematical theorems, and shaky the robot, which could reason about its actions. The dream was clear machines that could use language, solve problems, and even improve themselves. But these early successes were confined to simple toy problems. When researchers tried to scale up, they hit a wall. Real-world complexity and common-sense knowledge proved nearly impossible to encode. The initial wave of enthusiasm soon collided with the limits of symbolic logic, setting the stage for the field's first major reckoning. The Dartmouth dream was alive, but reality was about to test its limits. Symbolic AI dominated for decades, building expert systems by encoding human knowledge into vast rule databases. These systems like Masin could outperform junior doctors in narrow tasks, but they were brittle. Failures were common when faced with new or ambiguous situations. The approach lacked flexibility and common sense, and as ambitions grew, so did disappointment. Critiques and funding cuts led to the first AI winter, research slowed, and the term artificial intelligence became synonymous with overhyped promises. Even triumphs like Deep Blue's chess victory in 1997 revealed the limits. Brute force calculation, not true understanding. Handcrafted rules couldn't capture the vast nuanced knowledge humans possess. The field needed a new direction, one that could learn, adapt, and generalize. The symbolic era had peaked, and the search for real intelligence was just beginning. The thaw came with machine learning and neural networks, systems that learned from data, not rules. The breakthrough arrived in 2012, when AlexNet crushed image recognition records, powered by big data and GPUs. Deep learning secret scale, massive data sets and computation, let models learn complex patterns, no hand coding required. The 2017 introduction of the transformer architecture, with its attention mechanism, revolutionized language understanding and enabled large language models like GPT and BERT. Suddenly, AI could generate text, translate languages and answer questions with human-like fluency. By 2023, models like GPT-4 and Gemini became multimodal, reasoning across text, images, audio and code. The latest prototypes such as Gemini 2.5 and OpenAI's operator can autonomously perform multi-step tasks online. AI's history is now a story of long plateaus punctuated by paradigm-shifting leaps, each one bringing us closer to the original Dartmouth vision. In 2025, AI models are active collaborators, not just databases. They use digital tools, browsers, calculators, APIs, to autonomously complete complex tasks, transforming productivity. In science, systems like AlphaFold have solved grand challenges, such as predicting protein structures, accelerating drug discovery. In software, zero-shot coding lets anyone describe a feature in plain English and receive production-ready code. Programming shifts from writing code to designing intent, democratizing software creation. New models offer reasoning transparency, exposing their logical steps and evidence, building trust and enabling safe deployment. These advances make AI a force multiplier in research, engineering, and daily life. Yet even as capabilities soar, challenges remain. Despite their power, 2025's AIs are still flawed. Hallucinations, confidently stated falsehoods, remain a major problem requiring human oversight. Long horizon planning is fragile, multi-step tasks often break down as errors accumulate. Energy demands are immense. A single query can consume as much power as an hour-long light bulb. This limits AI's reach beyond data centers and makes local, personal AI assistance impractical. Most crucially, these systems lack true common sense and deep understanding. They manipulate patterns but don't grasp meaning. They can be fooled by simple logic puzzles and miss causal relationships obvious to a child. The gap between pattern recognition and genuine comprehension is the final frontier on the road to AGI. To measure our progress toward AGI, researchers test advanced AI models on complex reasoning tasks. Today's best systems score around 62%, while humans reach 96%. On long, multi-step tasks, AI success drops to just 38%. The gap is shrinking rapidly, but true autonomy and deep understanding remain out of reach. Next, we'll explore how labs aim to close this gap.
The world's top AI labs are racing toward AGI, each following distinct strategies. We can group these into four main tracks, scaling up models, building world models, agentic tool use, and neurosymbolic fusion. Scaling bets on bigger models and more data. World models focus on simulating reality. Agentic tool use teaches AIs to use external tools. Neurosymbolic fusion combines deep learning with symbolic logic. The scaling hypothesis drives today's AI breakthroughs, bigger models, more data, more power. But this path is costly, concentrating control among tech giants and may hit limits. World models offer a new hope. By learning the rules of reality, AI could become more efficient and robust. Yet building such models that truly understand our complex world remains a monumental challenge. Intelligence isn't just about what you know, but what you can do. Agentic tool use lets AI skillfully use digital tools, focusing on reasoning and planning, not memorization. Early prototypes show promise, but reliability and robust error recovery remain big challenges. Neurosymbolic AI fuses neural networks' intuition with symbolic logic's rigor, aiming for safe, reliable systems. The future of AGI may be a masterful blend of all these approaches. Despite advances, deep puzzles block the path to AGI. AI models excel at finding patterns but lack true understanding of cause and effect. They struggle with long-term planning and energy efficiency, unlike the human brain. Until we solve causality, credit assignment, and efficiency, the dream of general intelligence remains out of reach. AGI faces two major hurdles building a reliable, context-rich memory, and finding meaningful ways to measure progress. Unlike humans, AI struggles to recall past experiences and learn from them. Current systems rely on clumsy retrieval, lacking true, integrated memory. And without robust evaluation benchmarks, we can't truly measure AGI's intelligence or risks. Without these, we're flying blind into the future of AI. As we build powerful AI, the big question is, how do we ensure their goals align with our values? This is the alignment problem. It's not about evil robots, but about AI's misunderstanding our intentions with real consequences. Teaching values like compassion and fairness is complex. Approaches like RLHF and constitutional AI are steps forward, but the challenge remains. Building not just smart, but wise and ethical AI. Solving the alignment problem is not just technical, it's a profound challenge of global governance. As AGI advances, decisions in a few labs could impact all of humanity. The world is racing to create policies, transparency and oversight, but technology moves fast. International cooperation is essential, without it, even the safest AI could be misused. Governance is a critical part of the alignment puzzle. AGI promises a surge in productivity, reshaping industries and creating new opportunities while also disrupting jobs. History shows technology brings both abundance and upheaval. As cognitive tasks are automated, new roles will emerge, from AI safety auditors to AGI interaction designers. The challenge, ensuring everyone benefits through proactive policies, reskilling and social safety nets for a rapidly changing world. The path to AGI is uncertain, will it be a sprint, a marathon, or a stall? Experts fiercely debate the timeline but three futures emerge, rapid breakthroughs, steady progress, or a plateau. We must prepare for all three, innovate urgently, invest in deep research, and build strong governance. Only a multi-pronged strategy gives us the best chance to shape AGI for good. Our journey through artificial general intelligence began at Dartmouth and now shapes our future. AGI is no longer myth, it's a real, formidable goal, demanding both innovation and caution. We must prioritize alignment, safety and governance as we advance. The future is something we build, together with informed optimism and profound caution. Our actions today will shape whether AGI becomes a wise partner in humanity's story.